Hey there, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Welcome to my postage stamp. So this is the beginning of a series that I'm gonna run all year, and it's not gonna be a consecutive series. It'll be one that's kind of broken up during the year, but I'm gonna show you step by step by step how to set up a program for a super small lawn, what we call postage stamps. And I love postage stamps. You guys know I talk about them all the time. Used to love treating those little tiny lawns all throughout Chicago. I've got what I'm gonna call a simulated postage stamp here in my backyard. It's a 1,000 square foot area here fenced in. And so it simulates a postage stamp. And in fact, even those of you with larger lawns, maybe you've been a little bit apprehensive to start a full lawn care program. Well, why don't you pick a postage stamp and work on that? Only risk that small area. You only have to manage something that you know you can handle learn from that and then move on to bigger things so see everybody can play with the postage stamp program now this series is going to turn into a whole lot more because i've got my back patio here that i got plans to do some things with this royal has come in so nice but i've got just so many things i can do up underneath here and then these bougainvillea uh, I'm glad that they're coming out like this because they're showing me where the sun is and what they want to do so I can shape them. You can see this could be like a real Gilligan's Island looking thing up over by here. So you can see we have a lot of possibilities back here decorating this postage stamp more than just the grass. But for right now, let's go ahead and focus on the lawn. And the first thing I wanted to do was get the soil tested. This, the, you guys that watch the channel, you know I ignore the back lawn. And uh, so literally this has had absolutely no applications of NPK, micros, biostimulants, nothing like that at all for one entire year. The only thing it's gotten is a little bit of weed control. So before we review the results and set the strategy, let's go back and show you the test. The Yard Mastery Soil Test is what we'll be using here. If you click the link in the description below, we do sales all the time. Right now we're running buy one, get one half off for a limited time. So check that out. As well as I have Yard Care Bootcamp. That is our training, yardcarebootcamp.com. I'll give you a link below there. That is DIY training, video training, step-by-step, -step, what to do, how to do it, everything that you need to know. So check out those links for a little bit more help and a little bit more resources for those of you that want to learn more. All right, so here we go. So you're going to open up. So you do not want to lose this. This is your instructions, of course, but also this has your registration number on it. And so you're going to want to keep that because that's how you're going to track. Now you can register your kit in our app, the Yard Mastery app. You can go to this website here. It'll redirect you, but you can register everything right in the app. Nice and easy. So don't lose that. This is your package. You're going to mail in, put that to the side. You can see everything you have here. So this is going to get sent in. So put this to the side right now. And that scooper put to the side. And then all of this really is all pretty cool stuff, right? But we're going to put all that to the side because we want this box. Now, the other thing that is available, if you want, you can get one of these little soil probes. You stick this down into the ground and this gets you a nice core sample. And it also helps you keep the depth consistent. However, these are made in America. They're handmade and the cost of steel and all that is not cheap. So these are quite expensive. So this is not necessary. But it's one of those things, if you plan to test your soil over the next, say, 30 years or so, this will last that long. So up to you whether you want to make that investment or not. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, now this is my property map. If you haven't measured your lawn, I'll link to a video below. It's a good idea to do that, section your lawn off, just so you kind of know how big it is and what square footage you're dealing with. But the reason I broke this out is because people will ask, do I need to sample, you know, do I need to do a separate test in the back and the front and the sides, or can I do one test for all? And the answer is, most of you are going to treat the entire lawn the same. It's not like you're going to do a different FERT program back here versus over here. That's, that's rare that you would do that. If you are going to do that, if you're going to treat the front different from the back, then yes, a different test in front and a different test in back. However, the majority of you, like I said, are going to treat it all the same. So no, what you would do is pull two cores from this section, two cores from that section, two cores from that section, two cores from that section, and two cores from that section, and you mix them all together. And then that all together will form the basis of what's in your soil. Just so you know, the soil in a residential setting isn't going to vary that much from the back to the front. It's really not. It's not even going to vary that much from this lawn to that lawn over there. So it's not necessary to do separate testing unless you really want to get crazy. Okay, so here we are in my neglected backyard, St. Augustine grass. Listen to this. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, so you want to get down in there. You can feel 
Now you can see my grass is cut very tall. <laughs> so most of you, if you have different grass, this is not gonna be the case. That's just now getting into the soil for me. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna push that down in there, get it all the way down in, give it a little twist. And again, if you have uh, different grass, it's not gonna be so difficult, but there you go. I got the, I got the soil all the way up to right there. It's gonna give us a good, good sample. Now you'll see some debris will get in there. You want to try to keep that out. You don't have to be perfect, but just, you know, the less organic material that gets in there, the better. You just want your pure dirt. Now, if you were going to use the spade shovel, a little bit more invasive. Now, again, you can see I'm dealing with a very aggressive, warm season, tropical type grass here. This is not going to be so difficult for you. Uh, if you have a different kind of grass, but you just want to expose that lower area of the soil. You can kind of see all of that in there. And so you just reach in here and get some. It's that simple. And again, you don't want to get root structure if you can help it. Look at those roots, John Perry. You don't want to get root structure if you can help it. So try to keep it clean, keep the stuff out. And then put it in. Okay, so here we are back again. And there is all of our soil. Now again, I just want to reiterate, as long as you take a couple samples from each section around, they're all gonna be mixed in here. That's fine. If you wanna take more, you can, but it's really up to you how crazy you wanna get. So the next thing you do then is you wanna go ahead and mix up all of your soil. People will ask, does it matter if it's wet or dry? And the answer is no, it doesn't matter. Wet or dry, hot or cold will not change the results of the test. But obviously if you have clumps like that, you wanna to try to break that up. You wanna get that soil all mixed around together. I like to use my bare hands. I like to touch my soil. I like to get in contact with my with my dirt but you can wear gloves if you want to the other thing I'm doing during this time is if I do see any any organic material in here it's mostly going to be grass blades I'll push those off to the side get rid of those that was pretty clean there's a root see look at that root hanging on there Got a lot of roots in mine. And again, there's gonna be some that get in there, okay? It's not gonna be the end of the world. And by the way, this is what makes this one of those fun things to do with your kids. I think it's important to have your kids get their hands in the dirt too. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. We're gonna open up our Now that is deionized water and that capsule is what is going to absorb the nutrients from that deionized water while this is on the way to the lab. So the scoop here that they provide, this is how much dirt you want. You don't have to go crazy, you don't have to pack it in. Look at that, there's another root trying to get in there. You don't have to pack it in or anything, just a nice level scoop, there you go. Put that in there. Look at that. That is nice. Make sure you give that a good snug fit. Mm, click. Here's a quick little tip. Take a picture so you don't lose your number. Of course, this is a little touch I add for the boys at the lab and then if you really want to be a crazy nut you could save the rest of that soil huh for another time Ooh, how interesting would that be let's put that away right there imagine passing this down to your kids in your will all your soil tests over the years march 15th 2022 <laughs> that'd be kind of cool huh keep that listen i'm not that crazy what do you think i'm gonna make this soil stay locked up in solitary confinement for the rest of its life no way man Live, microbes. Be free. 
Hey y'all, we're getting a little rain here. The lighting in this video has been terrible, I know, but I just want to say one thing. When you uh, send your test off, go ahead and register it right away. Register right in the app there. You don't have to wait for the test to come back. And then once the test does come back in about six or seven days or so, you will then see the results show up right there. So I'll give you all the links below though. Now in the next installment of this video, I'm actually gonna show you how I choose the fertilizers to use based on that soil test. But if you wanna get ahead, I have a full guide I've written for you. Probably one of the most comprehensive free guides that I have, I'll link it below. And it talks all about setting up a strategy custom based on a soil test. So you can actually get ahead, you can learn a little bit. So when that next video comes out, it won't be very long, maybe 10 days, couple, two, three weeks at the most, we'll be out we'll be setting up a strategy over here, seeing what we can do to get this back lawn, this postage stamp under control. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, we'll put those below and I'll see you in the lawn.